Hi there guys, I wanted to do a video. This is gonna be for Christine for two reasons. One, to show off the phenomenal Dominic Murphy card decks, which I've not used before and I just received as a beautiful gift. Today I'm gonna to be working with the um, Trismegistus, Gistus, Trismegistus, forgive me Dominic if I don't know how to say that one, Major Arcana. And I've decided to combine it with his Alice in Wonderland um, limited edition just card playing deck. And the reading that I'm going to do for you today combines both of these because I love to combine tarot and oracle cards together. And in particular, these two work beautifully. So here's the spread that I'm going to do for you. And I went ahead and I laid everything out already, which you can do the same thing. Grab any major arcana deck or any major arcana from any deck that you have. In this case, like I said, I'm using Dominic Murphy's, and I've set them all out here, all 22 cards. The Fool at, this, at the top, and then the Magician all the way through to the World at the bottom here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these Major Arcana as if they are houses for my reading. So if any of you also read um, Lenormand, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about here. So this is going to be the energy of the house that you're in, right? And what I'm going to do is take the playing cards and I shuffle them. So here we have the beautiful playing cards. And I'm just really telling Source that what I want to do is this is a reading for myself. And I want to know the energy of what's going on in each one of these houses of my major arcana. So really kind of what's going on with my current heroic journey. And it's really interesting to me to use playing cards because what you get are some very detailed answers to big areas of your life, if that makes sense. What I've already done here is I've done this reading because I want to show you how it turns out and a couple of the things that stood out to me then in terms of reading it. So I'm going to lay out my playing cards now. And I lay them out just right on top of the Major Arcana. Okay, first of all, can you see how beautifully these decks combine? Gah! Dominic, these are phenomenal. The colors are so sublime. The images are both beautiful, ethereal, and also kind of haunting. So I think it's really nice to kind of work with these for if you want to do some shadow work, but also if you want to do some light work. Look at me, I had to go around the little uh, tripod there. Okay, so this is it. Now we've laid out the entire reading. And the way that I go about it is I just kind of start from the beginning, go all the way to the end, but ugh, that's how I am. You don't have to do that. You can start wherever you want. When I did this reading for myself, I want to show you a couple of things that, that turned up for me and how I actually read the cards in this situation. So here's one in particular that really struck me. And I'm going to pull it up so hopefully you can see it much, much better here. So this was the Temperance card. Gorgeous, gorgeous Temperance card from the Majors. And then the card that I have on top of this is the Nine of Spades. And if you don't read um, playing cards, this represents the Nine of Swords in Tarot. But you could also use an Oracle card if you want to. I just happen to like to combine Tarot cards or Tarot and Oracle cards. In this case, I'm going to read this more as if it were a Tarot card. So I have the Nine of Spades on Temperance, and immediately I thought, wow, it is really time to have a little moderation around my anxiety. I've been having lots of issues with anxiety lately, so this spoke to me very clearly that it's all about my worry, and I've got to temper that. I've got to bring it back in. So do you see how that could work? Let me show you another one. Um, let's see... Okay, I'd like to talk to you about this one as well. And this one, I'm going to show you again, bring it up closer for you to be able to see it. This is the Queen of Diamonds on top of Strength, which isn't his Strength card, just sublime. Absolutely exquisite. It's a little bit more powerful, a little bit more demanding, a little bit more um, uh, forceful than what I'm used to seeing in the Rider Waite. But it really did speak to me because there are challenges, I think, going on with my own personal strength and my own personal power. So this deck speaks to me beautifully. On top of that, what I got was the Queen of Diamonds, which is the Queen of Pentacles for those of you in tarot, or that's how I'm going to read it. I know there are different playing card methods, but this is how I'm reading this particular one. And I thought she was absolutely brilliant because she's got her little drink me um, 
two bright there and then the time clock going on and all the cards coming out of her hair and it just felt like all of these ideas around business and my elixir or my voice. So this was all about being a really strong businesswoman and that being my strength right now. So if I could harness this characteristic in myself, that would help me to gain the inner strength that I need in order to be successful in that area. All right, shall we take a look at one more? Okay, this is another stellar one to me. Of course, I love all of this, and, and the reading really spoke to me personally, and I think this is a great method to use for an internal deep dive. I think you can also use it with your clients, but it really does kind of require each one of these feels to me like it ends up being an oracular statement um, and a little piece of something to take home with you on your journey. I would have loved, and I would journal this for myself, but if I were doing it for a client, to have this written up, what a great way to kind of kick off the year, right? Okay, so here's the last one that I want go over with you. And um, this one, I'll hold it up again so you can see it, is the gorgeous, oh, glorious moon. And then on top, the ace of clubs. Um, clubs is the wands in tarot. And so I'm going to read it again as if I were reading tarot. So I've got the ace of wands, which is that really strong spark of inspiration. And the moon to me, is all about being in the unknown and it's in the uncertainty. So to me, this gave me permission to explore the uncertain because within the uncertainty and within actually the, um, the fears, right? Some of the things that we don't necessarily want to face, the things that go bump in the night, that is where my power lies. That's where my power to take action, to have inspiration, to hold something that I truly believe in and start new with it. So this was a great message to me to explore the uncertainty, explore the unknown and explore my creativity at this time. Okay, so I've done this um, with lots of different decks. You can combine any decks that you want to. I really just wanted to showcase these magnificent decks from Dominic Murphy today. The images can speak to you intuitively as well as literally. Um, but in this case, I just wanted to show you how I would combine two of them because the larger deck of the majors worked so beautifully with his Alice playing card deck. So I hope that's been helpful. I want to shout out a huge thank you to Christine. What a beautiful soul you are. I appreciate you doing this, and um, I hope to put more videos out there for you doing something similar. This whole concept, by the way, I need to give props to Veronica Jude, because she did a video on majors on majors, where she used two different decks and put a major card on top of a major, and that's how she read her houses. I just really love the detail that the daily operations bring into my heroic journey. So I want to, I call this taking 5D and 4D and bringing it right down into 3D. This is the reality of what's going on and it gives um, just more detailed exacting advice for you. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can always find me at glindasguidance.com. Thanks guys and thank you, Christine. Mad props, I love you, babe.